While inspecting wind damage roofing claims, I frequently hear insurance adjusters say that unless there are shingles missing, then there is no wind-created opening, and therefore no coverage for interior water damage. I would like to suggest to you that the following is a temporary wind-created opening. While it is obvious that these roof jacks should have been nailed down to prevent them from lifting with the wind, this is how we frequently see them installed. It is also how the insurance company insured the home. Sometimes, upon our inspection of wind damage claims, we do see nails holding the pipe flashing down. But upon interviewing the roofing contractor who made the temporary repairs after the storm, we find out that he is the one that installed those nails and that the flashing was not nailed down prior to the storm. In other cases, such as with this ridge vent, it appeared to us that it was secured tightly to the roof. After not being able to figure out how the water damage may have occurred to the interior of the home, we spoke with the contractor who had repaired the roof after the storm, and he told us that the ridge vent was knocked loose during the storm and that he had nailed it back down while making the other temporary repairs to the roof. Don't let your insurance carrier deny thousands of dollars worth of interior water damage just because he can't find an obvious opening in your roof. It is important to speak to anyone who may have been on your roof. They may have fixed it without even bothering to tell you.